If you're having issues with audio latency or audio stream dropouts when you are trying to record from a USB streaming audio device like this, uh, this mixing board or maybe a keyboard that has a USB output or even a USB audio interface, let me show you a few things you can try to help improve the situation. So first off, make sure that you're using a cable that is specific to the type of USB protocol that you are using. So in this case, my mixer uses a USB 2.0 high speed and I've made sure that I got a high quality, nice, thick, juicy USB 2.0 high speed cable. Some older USB 2.0 cables are just full speed and they're not high speed compatible, so make sure that you're using the right kind of cable. And likewise, if your audio device has a USB 3.0 or above, make sure that you're using a 3.0 or above cable. Those are usually, they have some kind of blue coloring either on the cable or on the connector and uh, they have the SS marking. Also, you wanna look at cable length. You can see here that I've got a cable that is just exactly long enough for the distance that I need it to travel. Make sure that you're not using excessively long, like old school printer cables or anything like that. You want a nice, short, as short as possible, as thick and high quality as possible cable. The next thing that you've got to look at is the way you've got it connected to your computer. Now, a lot of PCs are going to have these multiple ports, and uh, this is just the front or top side on my tower. And you can see that we've got a pair of USB 3 and a pair of USB 2s here. Now, just because there's two different ports doesn't mean that these are two separate bus lanes going all the way to the motherboard. Actually, these two ports share the same lane, and these two ports share the same lane as well. And what you have to understand is that some devices are okay with lane sharing, things like keyboards, uh, a mouse, you know, even some thumb drives or whatever. Maybe it might be okay if you have two thumb drives or a keyboard and a mouse in these, but if you have a pretty high load device like an, uh, an audio streaming device or say a high res uh, webcam, it's going to cause problems here with lane sharing and it's gonna be competing for bandwidth. So make sure you're only running a single device per actual USB bus lane. And if you look around the backside of your tower too, you're gonna to see a similar situation like these two ports, these blue ones are sharing a single bus and these two red ones right here are sharing a single bus as well as these two down here sharing a single bus. So generally I only assign a streaming audio device to a single bus and I don't plug anything else into it. You also wanna make sure that you're not using a USB hub for any of your streaming audio devices like audio interfaces, analog to digital converters, anything that is real-time streaming. So you can see here, I've got a PCI type uh, USB 3.0 uh, USB hub and uh, this is just for regular kind of low priority type of items, not for my audio devices. And you definitely wanna stay away from any of these little cheap kind of uh, USB hubs that are external. These are even worse. In this case, you've got seven ports sharing the same lane. And another thing you should be aware of when it comes to USB hubs, so cheap hubs usually only have a single transaction translator or TT. And what happens is if it only has a single TT, it's when you plug in a very low speed device, it will actually throttle down the entire hub to the lowest common denominator, meaning that basically everything that gets plugged into that hub is gonna be throttled down to the crappiest, slowest device that's plugged into this thing. So stay away from these for anything except for low priority devices. So give that a try and let me know in the comments below if that helped. See you next time, later.